Good afternoon, good evening uh, to one and all from various parts of the world. I know many people of you are uh, joining from different parts of the, uh, of the globe on this, I would say the new normal COVID-19 days. Um, we all welcome you to our first inaugural IBCN uh, 2022 webinar. Uh, here uh, with this, I would pass on the mic um, to our uh, chairman, uh, Dato Ramanathan, uh, to start his inaugural address for the first webinar. And with this, we will uh, start the session today. I hope it will be a very interesting session as we have a very distinguished guest um, joining in today. Um, and I hope it will be very informative. With this, I would pass on to Dr. Ramanathan. Got to unmute him. Yes, uh, can you start? Uh, yeah, you have to unmute him, sir. Yeah, I think uh, Sean, you can unmute them. Yeah, yeah. Can, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Welcome. Welcome to the first webinar of the 6th IBCN 2022. Purpose of IBCN. Main purpose is no We want to make sure that our community is around the business people, you know, entrepreneurs, you know. That was, that's the main purpose of IBCN. The history in Patamna, Varanath Patamna, Rindayati Yale, Kela, I see in an show. A Pella topic about the pace now, business was one of the topics. And from there, it went to 2013, went to Singapore, Anga IPCN Matnanga. And from there, it went to Coimbatore, Dubai, Chennai, and back to KL. Actually, came back to our birthplace, you know, private in Queen Mother Solomla, and they supposed to have it in 2021. And on the, uh, because of the COVID issue, we have actually booked a hotel. We are actually having it in Shangri-La Hotel. Center of care is a five-star hotel. And uh, the standard set from the high standard. We have formed a team, a very vibrant team. And I'm sure we would be able to do a much more or take it to the next level. And sightseeing in Patamna, Malaysia alone there, and I'm part of the here, Patra Caves, Tandima Temple, Genting Highlands, Twin Towers, Kale Tower, and all of them are going to go. So all this, Nanga and the team and there will arrange to take you all around. And you know, the main highlight of this event will be, we have actually spoken with AirAsia. Chennai and they were full flight chartered control. And the Nuthi and the Yenu Chetias and Naratas, Archikavalakun, Chetiakla and the Walaporanga. So, in that way, this will be the first time we're going to get such a big congregation of Chetias coming one chartered flight. We're going to showcase to the world that how closeness we are with each other. And then to make this IBC more and more vibrant, we have actually created a website, FB page. Uh, Instagram, we want to get more youths coming. Like Jack Ma uh, the future is going to youth. And we have to attract them. So they all are to, to attached to uh, talking about uh, web page and all the web page FB and all that. So we are actually developing more on it. And we are also bringing some VCs, investors, so that our youngsters, when the uh, startup, they should be able to invest. So we are, we are thinking differently. We want to be, we have got two more years to do. So we want to do something which is good for the community, good for the youngsters, good for the development of our community. And overall, our IBC in Malaysia is actually eagerly waiting to welcome all of you. Nick, topic in 
what to expect in the post covid days and part of the whole webinar on the organized by on the dr subramaniam our he and his whole team so i should be very thankful to him and then ni ni mentioned about the tourism hotels retail industries aviation illa other prachana irukke so many people are retrenched even higher level employees are getting retrenched i have a friend who is a pilot who has been used on a 6 months unpaid leave now he doesn't know what to do if one day he is uh, looking for he's going to start a uh, old folks home it's a good business now because we can charge up to 7000 ringgit and all that so it's so they feel they think of different ways and then i have got doctors huh? Doc, doc, qualified doctor medical doctors just became jobless they've been retrenched recently and luckily this guy got a contract with uh, some lab and doing covid test is going to places to covid test so he's surviving we have it engineers who will be working in multinationals and because they couldn't get any more project coming from us in that case they are retrenching it people so what are we going to do about it what that's going to push covid covid for finally no if the covid almost over malaysia coming to normal but today you can see traffic jams on the road apni ekam bodhe what's going to happen this another penalty another problem coming to uh, an economic problem in malaysia so it the what we are trying to show this uh, our speakers going to share with you all is we should not do so we should be confident how are we going to overcome this issues and uh, any problem can be treated as an opportunity so use this free time to learn mandarin because future i think china is going to really take a big deep step upon there we can actually upskill from it matam patta we go into data technology and then okay online for example one of my friends number kanja one day he had been locked down for 45 days when he poor mama vidla nanga vidla irukum bodu poldu pogala evlo neram thi paathirukka mudiyum so he went into his friends asked him mask correctly sanitizer correctly apdi kekkum bodu so he tried on alibaba credit card phone calls panni in 45 days his turnover was almost 1.6 million malaysian ringgit our profit matto 640000 malaysian ringgit which amounts to almost 1 crore rupa appo 45 dinar vandu our main business like this small bit there come pull to form try for this so online opportunities are plenty tremendous so we should all think on that line and then again coming about uh, talking about rubber gloves malaysia is a largest exporter or uh, manufacturer of rubber gloves nikki uh, we can talk with uh, big big companies over here like some of the big manufacturers of gloves have uh, gone into forbes uh, which uh, rich list you know? so you can talk with them they are still considering of giving even though like for example one company one rubber glove company i got all this right up to end of next year but we can still talk with them and, and they still will support us and maybe face a lot so so many opportunities and the other opportunities where are our logistics uh in the party na and the rambavaram the especially tourism industry now they have vans plus the to you know persiana vans also to take the tourists around and they they jobless no work at the the government has actually asked if they, are, if they have in post malaysia around they have all the packages will come so if they are ready to give 190 ringgit for 60 packets per day so one like a roughly can make up to 300 ringgit that's a good income so there are opportunities available but you have to look at it one pakam prachana ko one pakam there's opportunities and like we talking about uh, multiple businesses even one business you think of going to other business also and especially now that's one day we always don't put all eggs in one basket and when on the or be pala business pandro so at least one business go down the other business will come up in the same way people or working people I and mean, employees don't get stuck with one particular uh, business you in a working life you can look at other gig economy look at few other uh, working opportunities finally i would like to talk about speaker nikka was speaker on the we have a very prominent speaker Mr. Murugan Panne, he is the executive chairman of the Murugan Panne groups. He is one of the largest conglomerate in India. He started on 1900. I tried on I did the last round today. No tiru brush actually, and the, the turnover is 5.3 billion US dollars. And like now put the rupee of Kerala Patta Panne, now put the dollar in Kodi. I'm going to develop a little now put the umbrella in a little bit develop a little. It was the business of the umbrella the company listed. so and there is so many areas cycles and gender insurance fertilizers so many things so adore talaver the number one man is with us and he's going to share with us all the you know how to 
do business, how especially at this post COVID is how to do how to overcome problems. I think we're getting it right from the horse's mouth. Yeah? And then other on the modern part of the country, we have Tanshi Palan. I'm Tanshi Palan here, I'll look at the Malaysia. Um I'm going to give the pro chancellor of University of Cyber Jaya and Asia Metropolitan University. They enroll almost 4,000 students per year, and the main um, programs are health, medicine, pharmacy, psychology, biomedical engineering. And he also heads two public sector companies, Minda Global Bharat and SMRT Holdings. He also manages a Palan Foundation, and he gives scholarship for needy students. And I, am, uh, I know Tansu for almost 30 years. Uh, in fact, we are very close to, I mean, our families are very close to each other. And uh, he has been my mentor. So with all this, uh, Expert, I mean, uh, introduction. I'll pass on to Tansri. I'll go through this under your control. Next, take over. Thanks. Nandri, Dato Ramanathan, our director. Nandri, Kalai Vanakkam, Madhya Vanakkam, Malai Vanakkam. In general, Palla Pangir Palla Rukhel Palla Nadi Gali Lizundi in Malai Kalandu Uri Rukhel. So, our guys, any workum Vanakkam. In the Nigel Vuk Varga Varga in our guys, Varavir Kiran. Tato Ramana than our girl Mirchial in the Alaitula Gavarta and Aratar Manad, Mindum, Malaysia, Kuru Yeramika Mahilchi, our Gilkan Andri, our Yerendamundra Warangalik Munbe, Marthu or Dato Sobra, our girl in a Anihi in the Nikilvikatangal Pangir Kavendi and the Son of Bodhi, Yenda or Taikamel Lamal, Nanam Sari and the Solutin, other Kore or Karanam Dan Murugapa. Kuluvin Talevara Hirikin, the Muru Murugapa Kuluvin Talevara Hirikin, the Murugapan and our Pesu Adal, Nana Mika Mahilchi Wooden, Sari and Resolute. Our Mihum Elimeana Verkel Nambi Kayala, Optimism Solva, Enikme Solvanga, Denesari and the Parananal, Denesari and the Nalanal, Abin Denesari, our Glavandur, Nambi Kyoda, Selbada Kudi ever. Dato Ramana and our Patri or Arimuham say the Vitar, Anal Nan of Gray Mudal Mudalaga Sandita Buddha, Yerendaireti Padanina Mandu, Kova Imana and Nadahin Rabuddha, Virudhil Nama the Nagaratar Gulik, Virudhil Gudutta, Angirika Vendum and Risona Buddha, or Kuluva Yamit, Yarka the Kodupa in the or Mirchin at a kind of Buddha, Anan of the Talavara Hiranda, Avarum Palo Nalla Nanbergal. Kalanjan Ramanikam, Ramasami, or Rupondra Nalla, Nanberg, Arimuham Sayyuko, White to connect today. Other Kuperege, Nan of the Sandi Kavil and Rabodum, Iran to Mundra, the way our Rudan Todoru Gondi and then Mihum Mudaviak, Selbada Kudi ever. Indreki Vande in the Anitula Gamar, Varta, Varta, Rarata, Mana de Rendai to twenty twenty two in Solra, Irvet Renda Mande, Irvet and Larakin, Kolumpol, Nadaka, Kazakade, and the Nihilvik Mudan Mayaga, Idupode, Nihilvgala in Adati, Namundur, Arvati, Uruaka Vendu, in the Nala no Katudan, in the Palananba, the Sail Patrikaragar, Mudan Mudalaga, Indreki, Ulakatil, Anaivarum Bayande. Nundu Poyrikindra or Kala Katatil, Vitile Mudangi Katakindra or Kala Katatil, Yen Adit and Adaka Pokindra than the Teriam Tuditukundrikindra or Kala Katatil, Nam Yen Seye Vendum, Yen Badar Kaga or Ari Uriaga, Murupan and our Kanamatil Selakartikali Parimar Kola Vikar, our Yen Solhindra in Nam Kepo, our Lode Ari Uri Nam, Pinbutra Vendum, Yen Elorum Governor Maga. Our Solva the Kate Kavendum. Our PC a Pereke Palsela Kavi Elkum Nam, our Badia Lika, Utukundrik in Ragel, Adum Kuripa Sonargal, Indrake Nitro Kalame, Chene Lipol, the Aratal or Mundra Manizan, Adana Yatramani, Kavakum and Ravanan, PC Grain and Ravel Sonargal, Nandan Sona, Ilene, Umbanera Pesomodia, the Open in the Murmanera, only have Nathuklan and the Catapolitikum Sone Adanala, our our road a cartical in a capo, a cavigal in the alum and the cavigal over the till Munway poem, our little buzzles of work. I do not have any other things to say other than that this is a great initiative. 
and uh, I started off in Tamil and I made sure that I do not mix any English word there because of a very key element there that our roots are in the Tamil language, our roots are in the Saivite form of Hinduism and our roots are in, in appreciating and promoting spirituality of Hinduism and the Tamil language. There is so much of history, I think the AMM group that uh, Muruvannam belongs has also done that and I think there is pride among us. I think more importantly, I think the pride of the community has been rooted in the success of the community in the business world. For some unfortunate reasons, I think that has gone away and we are now slowly trying to create it. And I think over the last six events, I think five events, I have been part of the three events, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, and subsequently in Coimbatore. I could not get to Dubai and uh, Chennai, but I heard that the event was super duper and it was great events. But the whole idea is to create that interest in entrepreneurship. But believe me, that entrepreneurship does not come without any of its challenges. There are many challenges and we overcome those challenges. I was excited. Dr. Rama Sannapulu, Alibaba, or Nanbar, when the Modeli say the Yeratala, Arunutina Pada, Iron Villi, or Urumatil, Sambati returns on Nana, Nankota and Nanachana University Valley with it and the Veliki Poetla Man or Nokota or Arvathota even there. But I know that it's not, nothing is easy in life. And I'm sure Muruanne will share with it. So without any further ado, uh, Muruanne. தாங்கள் வந்து இந்த மாலை நேரத்தில் எங்களிடத்துல பேசுறதுக்கு உங்களுக்கு தான் நாங்க நன்றி சொல்லணும் சோ த செஷன் இஸ் யோர்ஸ் அண்ணே வி வில் லிசன் டு யூ ஐ திங்க் ஃபார் அபவுட் பிளீஸ் கோ ஆன் அஸ் லாங் அஸ் யூ வான் டு இருபது இருபத்தி ஐந்து நிமிடங்களுக்கு பிறகு கேள்விகள் தென் வியூ டேக் ஆன் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அண்ணே யூ அண்ணே தேங்க் யூ முரு அண்ணன் அவர்களுக்கு அனைவரும் நான் வரவேற்பு Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Palan. And just some housekeeping issues. I see on the webinar chat, Shan, that uh, the audio is not clear mm -hmm. to a few people. So I would request you to handle it as the controller. And thank you, Dato Ramanathan. And thank you all for this most embarrassing introduction. Uh, I'm just a custodian to a heritage. It's a very rich heritage that I'm uh, a custodian of today. It's not of my own doing. I think <laughs> four generations above me have created this and some part of it has been also in Burma and Malaysia and Sri Lanka and these places before they came to India. So obviously they did a few right things to pass on such a legacy to us. But first of all, I must thank the IBCN organizers in Kuala Lumpur, Dato Rama and your team, and particularly Dato Subramaniam, Dr. Subramaniam, who very kindly invited me. And he has a, a delightful son-in-law called Shaker. When Dr. Subramaniam very kindly invited me, Shaker instructed me. So essentially, within a family, I have a gracious invitation and an instruction which could have dire consequences if I did not accept. But thank you very much for this rare honor and unique privilege. Let me speak for about 15 minutes just to share with you some thoughts. I'm also here to learn from many of your questions. You are all from different parts of the world. Indeed, a very all proud ambassadors of a very fine and disciplined community. And thank you for sparing this time for me. First of all, I want to say to you, I just wish that all of you and your families and friends are all safe and secure in these very difficult times. Safety and security is perhaps going to be the underpinning statement across this brief talk. And I hope all of you are safe and secure 
and I wish you all well. You know, at this point in time, it's not just the pandemic. The pandemic is something that none of us and even medical science is not very clear as to how to address it. They are doing their very best across the world and hats off to all these COVID warriors, as we call them in India. But it's not just the pandemic. There was already an economic downturn coming. There was already an economic downturn. There is an oil crisis. There is a crisis of large corporate debt across the world. Now superimpose the pandemic on it. The crisis is here to stay and it's not going to go away in a hurry. I think medical professionals will say that a vaccine at scale, a vaccine at scale is a good 12 to 18 months away. So we cannot wish this away and we have to take this head on. And this is what countries are doing. I think Malaysia itself, as I saw from the internet, you have different uh, uh, tranches of support that the government has announced. So has Singapore, so has many other parts of the world and more recently in India as well. Ultimately, the richer countries can afford to do it. Perhaps the less rich countries will have to monetize their fiscal deficit, but that is something that we have to do. We have to put money in the hands of less privileged people. Sadly, what we also see in this pandemic, countries are not united entirely in the way they are addressing it. Each one is addressing it in, its, in their own way. And clearly the credibility of even the World Health Organization has taken a big beating from what we have seen and heard. But nevertheless, this is here to stay along with an economic downturn and oil crisis and large corporate debt. So it's not just the pandemic alone. From our perspective, and my experience is predominantly in India, we do have operations in other parts of the world, but nevertheless, a large part of our business experience is in India. About 15% is elsewhere in the world. So I have some perspective, but not perhaps as much as many of you have. The most important thing for us is safety and security of our people and compliance with public health needs. Safety and security and compliance with public health needs in whatever we do, whatever actions we take. We are part of a society. And then only we are in business or we have a community affiliation, etc. But we are part of a larger world society or a country society. So safety and security of everyone who is associated with us or in our sphere of influence is absolutely primary for us. Secondly, in this kind of crisis is extremely important and the way we are approaching it is that first of all, we must understand there's a crisis and we are staying positive. We need to stay positive to address this crisis. More importantly, we have to conserve all the cash resources that we have. So today, it was interesting, there was a comment made about uh, uh, making some quick windfalls on investment. Today, what is more important, it is return of capital rather than return on capital. All of us have been so used to return on capital, either through our investments or through our business, etc. But we will have to step back and that's what we are trying to do. Primarily, safety, security, conservation of cash resources, and return of our capital more than return on capital. 
what are we attempting to do? And let me share a few of our experiences. Our experience has been predominantly in the manufacturing businesses. We have some service businesses as well. I do know a wide cross-section of yourselves are outstanding professionals with great expertise. Many of you are self-employed. Many of you are in various professions. And clearly, all of us are facing many times the same dilemma, perhaps in different scales. So when we look at a business, we look at the supply chain from end to end. If it's a manufacturing business, we look at where raw materials come from. These raw materials have to be processed in our factories. They will go into a distribution system and ultimately to an end customer. And at every stage of this, we will necessarily have to conserve cash resources. We cannot take some steps as to hold high inventories just because materials are coming less expensive. We just need to tailor inventories to cash resources. And then when we supply it to the distribution system or directly to customers, we need to help them conserve their cash resources. We may have people working with us, particularly in medium and small scale industries. Often they are critical suppliers to us. Many of them are very sound technocrats. So we need their service. So we necessarily have to work closely with them to ensure their cash cycle is good and therefore our cash cycle is also good. We need to very clearly see that either with suppliers or with customers, all our contracts are clean and we don't have any legal issues because that could set us back even further. In all this, what I find, keeping the whole theme of safety, security of people working in every part of the supply chain is to work with each one in a lot of elaborate detail in terms of how do we conserve cash resources for everybody so that we are all in this together. So what becomes extremely important is transparency. This is transparency with the people that we interface with, transparency with the banking system, transparency with our employees. We need to be communicating, communicating, and communicating on a regular basis. In a large country like India, just to give you a personal experience, every two weeks, I send out a personal letter in multiple languages to each and every one of my colleagues at work. There are approximately 50,000 of them in direct employment. There are another 100,000 of them who are service providers to us. But I send out a letter telling them where we are what our plans are, and appreciating all the good work that they do. And I'm sure in each of your institutions, you have some wonderful people who've gone beyond the call of duty, and we need to appreciate them. Unless we do this, it's going to be extremely difficult to come out of this crisis together. And this is the expectation of our customers as well. Recently, somebody asked me, how are you dealing with customers, particularly in smaller businesses, particularly in businesses that have been impacted intensely by all these crises and the pandemic in particular? There is a lot of fear amongst people. And people like us who have the opportunity to be better educated and well exposed, it's our responsibility to allay these fears and communicate with them. And this happens with the workforces in our factories as well. Secondly, many businesses will not gain traction for the next 18 months at least. Businesses such as maybe restaurants, airline, travel, a whole host even people, even, even retail will not gain traction. 
And now what do we do in this? We can talk about work from home. We can talk about going online, et cetera. But let me tell you very clearly, whatever we do, work from home, go online, et cetera, et cetera, unless you're invoicing, unless you're billing, unless you're collecting, there is no business. And I think the Nagaratar community knows this very well. Protect your capital, work with the cash flow that you have. So these are very, very fundamental things that we have to do. And even in these businesses, what are customers expecting? Even in industrial products today, customers are expecting a personalized service. It's no longer selling goods and informing the purchase manager on the other side. We have to get right down to the person using that product and see how we can make him or her more efficient. Similarly, I'm sure even in the retail businesses, we have some small agricultural retail businesses. We're trying to ensure that we provide a service more than just a product to ensure that a trusting relationship with the customer is enhanced. So therefore, even in the businesses that are greatly impacted, and I'm sure many of you are concerned about it, we will have to find ways to build trusting relationships. It's true that they say that every crisis presents itself with an opportunity. Truly, it does. At a country level, many countries are looking at an alternative to China. And Malaysia, I think, can be in the forefront of it. Malaysia, Singapore, and many other countries, including India. But it's not easy. It's not easy because there are policy issues, there are productivity issues, there's competitiveness issues, there are quality issues, and all these things will have to be gone into very great detail before as a country and as a business, we can really address these issues. So overall, we have a crisis on hand, we have to conserve cash resources. We have to look across the supply chain in very elaborate detail. We cannot allow legal issues to overtake our day-to-day -day work. We have to simplify matters. We have to address things squarely with a positive frame of mind. We have to look for return of capital rather than return on capital. And more than anything else, look for the benefit of all society and not just our businesses. So let me stop here and thank you once again for giving me this brief opportunity. And I'm more than happy to take any questions or share anything that I like uh, that you would like me to share. I do see that there are some very specific questions on the chat room relative to the Murugappa group and its constituent companies, etc. For that, kindly write to me directly and I will respond to you. But this is an IBCN event and I will be uh, very happy to take questions from all viewers uh, moderated by Dr. Palan. Thank you very much, sir. Anna Roman Andrea, thank you so much, Mika Mika and Andri, or Ratana Surukama, and his son of the Vandana and Tamil Solid, eh? Angamurupan and Avando, Ratana Surukama, Arumayaga, Ivala or Saramamana or Talaipa and the Roma Arumayaga, Surukatota Pesitanga, Angasuna Kartakal and Nanga in the Kartakal Kartu number, Mudalavana Kartu and the Indrek Vendu or Sukhada and Erkadi Rikindra, there's a health crisis. Anna other Kamiri or Purula and Erkadi Rikre, there's an economic crisis. Other Kakarangal on the Yenna will have on the Padivehuma Korangit today, Vele Viper Korangit today. Pala Prechinical Natla on the debt crisis, the Katantola, the Palamari Sulikanga, Mundra of the Aga, Nanga Palkalikatla soldier on the Suhada and Erkadiki Miri, Purla the Ridiki Miri, 
ஒரு சமூக நெருக்கடியும் வந்துடும் ஏன்னா வேலை வாய்ப்பு இல்லாதவர்கள் என்ன செய்ய போகின்றார்கள் நிறைய சமூக பிரச்சனைகள் வந்துடும் சொல்லுவாங்க அண்ணன் வந்து அதை ரொம்ப அழகாக அருமையாக ரத்தன சுருக்கமா சொல்லியிருக்காங்க இரண்டாவது கருத்து வந்து அவங்க அண்ணன் சொன்னது வந்து இது மாதிரி ஒரு சூழ்நிலையில நம்ம ரொம்ப பாதுகாப்பா இருக்க வேண்டும் ஒற்றுமையாக செயல்பட வேண்டும் நாடுகள் அனைத்துமே வந்து பல மாதிரியான கொள்கைகள் இருந்த போதிலும் கூட ஒற்றுமையாக செயல்படவில்லை என்று அண்ணன் அவர்கள் ஒரு வருத்தத்தை தெரிவித்திருக்கிறார்கள் ஆனா குறிப்பாக அவங்க என்ன சொல்றாங்கன்னா நம்ம அனைவருமே வந்து கட்டுப்பாடோட வாழ வேண்டும் we have to be very safe adanal vand we have to be careful because responsibilities nammude safety adu nammude purupu nu solliranga ana moonru avargal pesiyadhil innikku arumayaga avargal anubavatha vand migavum aru arumayaga nanraga velakkama solliyirukkirargal onru vand avargal supply chain patti pesiyirukanga andha viniyoga changilila பல நபர்கள் இருக்கின்றார்கள் அனைவரும் வெற்றி பெற வேண்டும் நீங்கள் முருகப்பா குரூப் அவர்கள் முருகப்பா குழுவின் இணையதளத்துல பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அவங்க ஐயா பேசியிருக்கிறது சொல்லுவாங்க அர்த்த ராஷ்டிர பிரின்சிபல் சொல்லுவாங்க யாருமே தோல்வி அடைய கூடாது எல்லோருமே வெற்றி பெற வேண்டும் என்ற ஒரு குறிக்கோளோட தான் முருகப்பா குரூப் வந்து செயல்பட்டு வந்திருக்கு குறிப்பிடத்தக்கது அதனால அவங்க சப்ளை செயின் ரொம்ப கேர்ஃபுல்லா இருக்குன்னு சொல்றாங்க இரண்டாவது வந்து அந்த பண கேஷ் ஃபுளோ பணப்பழக்கம்னு சொல்றது அந்த கேஷ் ஃபுளோவை வந்து மிகவும் ஜாக்கிரதையாக பார்த்து கொண்டு அதை நீடிக்க செய்யக்கூடிய ஒரு சூழ்நிலையை நம்ம செயல்பட வேணும் சொல்லியிருக்காங்க மூன்றாவது அவங்க என்ன சொல்றாங்கன்னா எந்த ஒரு சட்ட சிக்கல்களையும் நான் மாட்டிக்கொள்ள கூடாது சட்ட சிக்கல் லீகல் இஷ்யூஸ்ல மாட்டிக்க மாட்டிக்க கூடாதுன்னு சொல்லியிருக்காங்க பர்டிகுலர் அவங்க சொல்றது வந்து அந்த ஈகோ சிஸ்டம் அந்த சுற்றுச்சூழல் பாதுகாக்க வேண்டும் அனைவருமே வெற்றி பெற வேண்டும் என்பது சொல்றாங்க நான் ஐந்தாவது கருத்து வந்து அவங்க சொல்றது வி மஸ்ட் கம்யூனிகேட் 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 சொல்றாங்க ஐம்பதாயிரம் தொழிலாளிகளுக்கு இரண்டு வாரங்களுக்கு ஒரு முறை அவர்கள் ஒரு கடிதம் எழுதுகிறார்கள் என்று சொல்கிறார்கள் தொடர்பு கொள்ள வேண்டியது நமது கட்டாயமாக இருக்கின்றது இந்த சூழ்நிலையில முக்கியமா சொல்ல வேண்டும் என்றால் நமது தொழிலாளிகளும் நம் தொடர்பு கொள்ள வேண்டும் ஆனால் நமது குடும்பத்துடன் நாம் தொடர்பு கொள்ள வேண்டும் ஏன்னா ஒரே வீட்டில் இருக்கிறோம் இவ்வளவு நேரம் ஒரு ஒரு தனிப்பட்ட நபருக்கு இருந்தது இல்லை இருபத்தி நாலு மணி நேரம் வீட்டிலே முடங்கி கிடக்கின்ற ஒரு சூழ்நிலையிலே நாம் அனைவரும் ஒருவர் ஒருவர் பகிர்ந்து கொண்டு பழக வேண்டும் வி ஹாவ் டு ஷேர் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் அப்படிங்கிற இந்த கம்யூனிகேஷன் கான்செப்ட் மிக மிக முக்கியம் சமீபத்தில் வந்து அலெக்சாண்டர் பாபுன்னு ஒரு தனி நபர் நகைச்சுவை செய்யக்கூடியவரை வந்து நான் யூடியூப்ல பார்த்தேன் அவங்க அண்ணன் சொன்னதை வந்து ரொம்ப ரொம்ப கேர்ஃபுல்லா சொல்றாரு அவர் சொல்லுவாரு எதுவாக இருந்தாலும் அதை நாம் சீராக வேலை செய்ய வேண்டும் அண்ணா வந்து சொன்னாங்க ஈவன் இஃப் யூ ஒர்க் ஃப்ரம் ஹோம் யூ மஸ்ட் மேக் ஷோர் த இன்வாய்ஸஸ் கோ யூ மஸ்ட் மேக் ஷோர் தஸ் கண்டினியூட்டி பிசினஸ் ப்ரோசஸ் கண்டினியூட்டி அந்த ப்ரோசஸ் கண்டினியூட்டி இல்லைன்னா வி வில் பி இன் ட்ராபல் சொன்னாங்க அப்புறம் ஒரு மிகமா கிட்டங்கில கொல்லம் பொருள் கிட்டங்கில நான் வந்து என்னுடைய ஆரம்ப கால வாழ்க்கையை நான் ஆரம்பிக்கின்ற பொழுது அப்பொழுது எல்லாம் என் பெயர் பழனியப்பன் தான் இப்பதான் பலன் சுருக்கமா வச்சுட்டாங்க ஆனா பழனியப்பன் நான் கிட்டங்கில செயல்படுகின்ற பொழுது அப்போ எப்பவுமே காலையில தேவோட்ட சண்முகிட்டார் சொல்லுவாரு தம்பி நம்ம மூலதனத்தை மட்டும் பாத்துக்கணும் தம்பி முதலீடு மறந்துட கூடாது வி மஸ் சேவ் அவர் கேபிட்டல் தட்ஸ் மெயின் பிரின்சிபல் ஆஃப் டூயிங் பிசினஸ் அதை அண்ணன் திருப்பி சொல்லுவாங்க கடைசியாக அண்ணன் சொன்ன வார்த்தை மிகவும் முக்கியமான வார்த்தை ட்ரஸ்ட் நான் ஆங்கிலத்துல சொல்றோம் எங்க ஆயா கொப்பநாட்டில நாச்சம் ஆயான்னு சொல்லுவாங்க இந்தியா லெதர் கார்பரேஷன் அவங்க எங்க ஆயாவோட அவங்க சொல்லுவாங்க ஆயா சொல்லுவாங்க தம்பி நம்பிக்கைய வந்து ஒரு முறைதான் தம்பி இழக்கலாம் இஃப் யூ லூஸ் த ட்ரஸ்ட் ஒன்ஸ் you never get a chance again nu solluvanga ranjit singh chairman of the securities commission of malaysia solluvaru trust comes by foot but leaves in a ferrari nu solluvanga idhu mari oru sunnilela harvard padkalaikalathila rendu kelvi kekkranga anna adhey da thirupi 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 solliranga one what are we going to be today and what are we going to be post this crisis பேண்டமிக் கிரைசிஸ் அத சொல்றோம் பேண்டமிக் கிரைசிஸ்னா இத வந்து உலகத்துல வந்து சுகாதாரம் ஒரு சர்வதேச பரவல் பேண்டமிக் கிரைசிஸ் நாட் ஏபிள் டு கண்ட்ரோல் இட் சர்வதேச உலகத்துல வந்து அந்த பரவலை வந்து ஒரு கட்டுப்படுத்த முடியாத ஒரு சூழ்நிலை நம்ம எப்படி செயல்பட வேண்டும் என்பதை அண்ணன் வந்து ரத்த சுருக்கமா சொல்லிட்டாங்க அந்த நிறைய கேள்விகள் வந்து வந்திருக்கின்றது ஆனா அவங்க வந்து அண்ணன் சொன்ன மாதிரி முருகப்பா குழுவின் கேள்விகளை வந்து தனித்த நீங்க தனி தனித்து அவர்களுக்கு இமெயில் மூலமாகவோ அல்லது கடிதம் மூலமாக எழுதினால் அவங்க வந்து அதுக்கு பதிலளிப்பாங்க அண்ணே முருகண்ணே இந்த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் இஸ் 
from Toronto. There's a question from Toronto. What's your advice to employees and, and executives working with corporates at these difficult times? Idumari or Sunni Lele, Namatulila Lila in the Alam Sari, or Nirvana Televela Sagan Rabodi, Nam Yepudi, how do we actually deal with it? Yepudi of a cell, but a vendor than Kelvi, V Palani upon an account, Toronto and the Katrakanga. Would you like to take that question? Sure. Um, I'm not certain, Mr. Palnepan, as to uh, what kind of business that you're involved with. But uh, one thing I would like to say that if I were in your place, I would <laughs> dialogue clearly with my colleagues, either in the hierarchy of the business, or if you yourself are in the leadership of the business, and see, plan what is the kind of scenario that you can plan for. So when you plan for a certain scenario, always let us look at three things. I will, what we do when we plan for the scenario, we try to make a realistic plan and a pessimistic plan. And in the pessimistic plan, we try to tailor our expenses to the pessimistic plan, but not to the realistic or optimistic plan. That is on one side. And whatever cash resources, whether it's for capital or revenue, we try to place it in three buckets. One is vital, essential, and desirable. We take out the desirable completely. We will deal only with the vital issues for the next 12, 18 months. And if things look up, we will address some of the desirable issues. So this is as far as an institution is concerned, whether it's a large business or small business, is the, this is just as an, so therefore, the employees and executives working in corporates, it's good to be, good to understand the entire strategy of the corporate. One such strategy could be, when you're conserving cash resources, it could also impact your compensations and salaries, et cetera. And it is impacting some of our businesses. What we are doing, is saying that, all right, we will defer parts of our compensation till a later time. And when things bet get better, we'll perhaps restore it. So some businesses may have that luxury, some businesses that may not. But if there's no pain, there is no gain in the long run. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. I think we have to be very careful, cash flow. மிகவும் <laughs> அவங்க என்ன கேக்குறாங்கன்னா நான் நிறைய பேர் வந்து நாங்க ஃபைனான்ஸ் பிசினஸ்ல இருக்கிறோம் கலெக்ஷன்ல வந்து ரொம்ப சிரமங்கள் ஏற்படும் இதை என்ன ஒரு ஐடியாஸ் நீங்க எதுவும் கொடுக்க முடியுமா அப்படின்னு அவங்க கேக்குறாங்க சர்வீசஸ் business where we finance largely vehicles and we provide loans against properties etc we are dispersing only to the extent of what we collect we are dispersing only to the extent of what we collect and we have moved a lot of people from the credit side of the business to the collection side of the business and we are working with our customers because the customer needs to generate cash flow for himself and also to pay us and pay other people. So we are working with them as to how we can help them generate their cash flow so that they can pay us. It is quite a lot of pain, Mr. Sentil, but nevertheless, we have taken some fairly 
strong measures saying that we will disperse only to the extent what we collect and we will keep our expenses to the minimum and use technology where we can. See, for example, if you take collections, you can't be knocking at the same door all the time. But today's technology and analytics, it can provide you a pattern of uh, payment from your customers. So the people who pay on time or people who pay with small delays, you will perhaps not really focus on, but you will focus on the people that who do not pay and try and help them. So we'll have to segment our customers, but the fundamental rule is again, we disperse to the extent of collection. Thanks, Anne. Our Anna, when they are saying that, we are saying that our body care is not just a sale button. We have to just separate it. Uh, but Anne, I have got a question here because Ram has said it. They have a kill we are talking about. But just to intertwine with that, Anne has also said that banks give you an umbrella when it does not rain and take it away when it rains. They have said that. so when you say that you will only advance basically based on your collections does this actually sound contradictory to the supply chain and the ecosystem that you are talking because avanga ram odi question avanga enna kekkranga na idu mari or nilayila can i continue to go bold and invest more apdi kekkranga so maybe what are your thoughts on that see i think you got to use your best judgment uh, mr ram sir you have to use your best judgment i do not know the nature of your business but if there is a level of confidence that you can take a bold step that's the choice you make in our business we've decided to take a more prudent and a conservative approach sure secondly if you have a lot of equity resources in order to take such bold steps and you can put in more risk capital then it's your judgment i mean you can't be too conservative you cannot be too aggressive but again it will depend on you if you have equity resources you can put in risk capital then you do it but i would if i were in your place i would do a pilot one or two tests and then decide whether to uh, pursue that aggression at in these times thank you anne i think innoru kelvi vandirukudene idu vande ivanga narayan ketirukanga communication nu solli irukinga nama vande payirndukolla vendum adikadi payirndukolla nu solranga how much can we communicate and what can we communicate uh, should transparent nu solli irukinga so sila vishayangala vande nama manasukulla vechikkanuma illa payirndiklaama nu kekka see when i saw the question on the chat room said should we communicate particularly to junior employees is that the same question sir uh, i see chel uh, i see this question here let me just see here uh, yes i think uh, too much to junior level may aggravate the fear and sense of job security correct sir uh, so you know <clears throat> there is already a fear i think the communication is to dispel these fears exactly i think the communication is dispel the fear suppose we are caught in a very very difficult situation where we necessarily have to lay off people the subsequent month or the following month whatever what i would do is that i would talk to the people give them a clear picture of where we are and communicate and tell them this is what is going to happen then let's try and find a solution together maybe all of us will take a little bit of a cut in our compensation again for the company and therefore the company can continue its operations maybe at a perhaps a lower level of activity or we might have to work or do short work as they say in europe or work for less a number of hours in a week so why i'm saying we need to communicate at every level 
it's very important because everyone has to partake in this in the well being of an institution and that's why i say that we should communicate and it's better to communicate honestly rather than uh, spring a surprise at the last moment thank you anna there is a uh, follow up question there from chellappan ninga vandu legal issue satta sikkal patti pesninga appo vandu ninga so his question is namma vandu in the pandemic crisis and the sarvadesa sarvadesa paraval prachanaikku munbu namma pala oppandangal potrukla we would have entered into some contracts ipo vandu and the contracts may not be valid yena sandarpa sollala mari iruchu so do we actually go legal or do we negotiate what do we do with these contracts because there is a mac a material adverse contracts or can i use force major what can i do because it's no longer sustainable i think that's the question and i would you like to take it up yes i see this question i think it's a very valid question we do face this all the time uh, in a difficult situation you can declare a force major and then deal with it after that but here again i would say both suppliers and customers also understand that there is a problem so in your question you also stated sir that will it be better to have a give and take policy or take a legal approach my view always it's much better to have a conciliatory give and take policy rather than a legal approach but if at all that we are pushed to the wall then we may have little choice but to do so but uh, your view about a more conciliatory give and take approach is certainly what we would do first uh thank you anna innoru kelvi vandirukiradhu na i think idu mari oru soolnilaila pudhiya vyapara vaippugal irukuma endha 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 thoraila irukum what are the business opportunities uh, that's likely to rise in a crisis like this i mean see in i mean we keep getting asked these questions uh will there be new opportunities etc i think there will be definitely new opportunities if you take large customers or large corporates naturally they are trying to bring down their costs now is there an opportunity to help them bringing down their costs with your expertise yeah. now you may have a certain expertise you may say all right let me take that component of yours i you outsource it to me and i will try and ensure that i provide it to you at a cost better than yours there might be a service that they may need and that service if they normally had had uh, given it to a another service provider etc it could have been more expensive so there are possibilities but we will have to seek them out and these will come more in the service industry and perhaps on outsourced uh products but it is difficult we have to go see, seek seek them out um you know for example in india for example we have a large it industry and a lot of it was predicated on offshoring rather than on site i think offshoring is going to come down tremendously and a lot more on site work is going to happen so perhaps it's better to be prepared for something like that so we will have to seek out these opportunities we will not get the profit margins that we would have got in the past but i do not want to look at profit margins at all today if i can get positive cash flow i am quite happy sure and i'm a thank you and i think um, earlier on i think the naharathar tatvam na solvam na the naharathar philosophy has always been to solve problems mutually rather than legally satta reethiya poira kudadhu nama mudinda alavukku vandu nama soomva mudichikkanu solluvaanga so i think it's good and rendadhu vandu we have to be very pragmatic nu solluvaanga so i think it's very good that positive cash flow nu sollirukkeenga thank you uh, there is another very good question here and from kumaran raman what is your views on ir4 industrial revolution for after the pandemic 
and uh, many companies have continued to invest solutions uh, in the or pudhiya stone like avanga nariya modalidu pannirukanga and how what is your advice ungalude yosana enna nu kekkala mr raman i i i think it's an excellent question um we will have to look at the industrial revolution 4.0 we cannot wish it away because if we wish it away somebody else will take our place mm. now particularly in the, across the world there are job losses so unless we are also in tune with what's happening worldwide uh, we cannot be restricted by geography at all even if india is a large country with 1.3 billion people we cannot be restricted by geography because the marketplace is the world i don't know whether countries can afford to have tariff protections and other things anymore because it will be extremely difficult so we will have to keep our sights on industry 4.0 maybe the investments towards that might uh, take a little more time but this could also give us opportunities in terms of looking at new research new science and new ways of doing things more economically so that's the challenge i would pose particularly to our engineering team and then just uh, there is one or two questions which i just like to combine idu mari oru sunnilela vande ஒருத்தங்க வந்து கேட்டிருக்காங்க இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட்ஸ் வாட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ரிட்டர்ன் ஆன் கேபிட்டல் அந்த மூலதனத்துல வந்து வாட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ரிட்டர்ன் சுட் ஐ எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் கேட்டிருக்காங்க அதே நேரத்துல இன்னொருத்தங்க கேட்டிருக்காங்க இது மாதிரி ஒரு நேரத்துல முதலீடு சந்தை வந்து ஸ்டாக் மார்க்கெட் வந்து ரொம்ப விழுந்திருக்கிறது சுட் ஆய் இன்வெஸ்ட் ஆன் கேட்டிருக்காங்க இன்னொரு ரொம்ப பிராக்டிக்கல் கொஸ்டின் திருப்பியும் செந்தில் இருந்து கேட்டிருக்காங்க அண்ணே வந்து நிறைய பேர் நாங்க திருமண மண்டபங்கள் வச்சிருக்காங்க கல்யாணமே நடக்கல என்னென்ன பண்றது அப்படின்ட்டு வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கொஸ்டின் என்ன நண்பர் ஒருத்தர் கேட்ரிங் பிசினஸ் வச்சிருக்கிறார் ஹி டசன் ஹேவ் ஏ கேட்ரிங் பிசினஸ் அண்ட் நதர் ஃப்ரெண்ட் ஆஃப் மைன் ஹஸ் காட் அ செயின் ஆஃப் ரெஸ்டாரண்ட்ஸ் ஏழுநூறு பேர் வேலை பார்க்குறாங்க லாஸ்ட் டூ மந்த்ஸ் லாக் டவுன் தேர்ஸ் நத்திங் இஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் பட் அதோட சேர்ந்து அவர் ஒரு கேள்வி கேட்டிருக்காரு இது மாதிரி ஒரு சூழ்நிலையில ஹவு டு ஐ ரெய்ஸ் கேபிட்டல் ஒரு பத்து சதவீதம் பன்னெண்டு சதவீதம் பெர் இயர் ஹவு டு ஐ ரெய்ஸ் கேபிட்டல் Uh, I think capital is going to be very difficult to raise unless it's a great idea, but I leave you to answer these questions together. Uh, first of all, relative to investments in the stock market, if you go to any investment advisor, they will tell you this is the right time to invest in the stock market. Exactly. exactly. But my view on this is that it's better to, that we have a clear idea of our capital allocation yep exactly rather than just look at the stock market and the opportunities that it will provide let's have a clear idea of capital allocation and let's have a capital allocation strategy and then an investment strategy rather than just a pure investment strategy in the stock market secondly the question is i really sympathize with a lot of you who have uh, assets in wedding halls restaurants hotels real estate etc because you put in a lot of capital you i may have taken capital from others in also to uh, complete these projects uh, here again i don't have any ready made solutions or answers because i don't have any experience <laughs> however having said that what are the other opportunities we can put these assets to these assets are in the form of uh, space these assets are in the form of people these assets are in the form of expertise if you have a certain type of cuisine your restaurant serves so how do we get this across and people are also scared today to go to a restaurant yeah people are scared people are scared to go to a mall people are even more scared to go to a restaurant within a mall as one of my friends told me so how do we do this so can we make this a more personalized experience 
Now, if we have large spaces, can we provide it without uh, affecting or impacting its quality and things like that? Can we provide it for lectures? Can we provide it for teaching? Can we provide it, you know, dependent on the non-auspicious months, how can we generate cash flow? I mean, the whole premise is how do we generate cash flow and how not to give credit? Yeah. So these are the kind of things we need to do. I'm, I'm afraid I do not know sufficiently about your businesses, but please don't borrow money afresh if you don't have to borrow, certainly. And even if you're taking moratoriums, etc., please be careful because at some point in time, there will have to be a repayment of both principal and interest. Exactly. And uh, one thing that's happened in Malaysia particularly, and then there is a lot of government stimulus package. So I think uh, a government stimulus package when there is only about 3% interest per annum. So I think you should actually make use of these government uh, stimulus packages. But we have to be very fast because they had a 50 billion package, but it was used up in about... So I think we need to be responding. There's one more question from Mohan. The question is a very fair question, uh, but it's a practically real, real problem. Uh, uh, how do we find out? Not genuine. How do we find out from your experience judging people and uh, how do we respond? That's a, that's the question. Um, see, you need to know your customer well and you need to know your tenant well. And if your tenant has, it's been the same with, uh, in fact, we have a, a trust property which my brother and I, and also in the larger family, we have a trust where we have let out the properties and many people have come back to us asking for rental reductions. One of them is a travel agency. I mean, good people, known people, honest people, they are a travel agency. We would like them to be our tenants and therefore we have given them a reduction in rental. Now, similarly, if you have an alternate in hand who's definitely willing to take your property for a period of time and you enjoy a level of trust and you have a great relationship, then of course you can invoke your clauses and then ask, ask the current tenant to move on to perhaps more affordable places and you get an alternate tenant. When you don't have an alternate tenant, just because that you are, you, your current tenant is not willing to pay or is willing to ask you for less. If there's a tenant is a good tenant and if the cash flow is reasonable, you can defer it, if not uh, allow it to lapse, but nevertheless work on the cash flow and the quality of the tenant. So this is what they call as a KYC and then the banks call it as know your customer. So I think right. we need to know that the customer and Namako and the Nama customer core and Ambika Pala Irikrada Abding or Mudipana. And I think um, if there's any other questions, where do you are killing that killing up? Otherwise I'll just quickly summarize and pass it on to uh, the coordinator. Any other questions quickly or shall I bring this to a close yeah okay there are no other questions i think be careful about cash flow cash flow cash flow i was counting it cash flow pathi pesnaanga na yerathala indha oru 30 nimidathila avanga yerathala oru 35 thadava adu solli irupanga nenikiren cash flow so i think it's so very important for us in moments like this to maintain the cash flow ay nama nagarathar paramariyathiley solluvanga don't take risks unnecessarily in solluvanga but obviously we need to take risk but avanga anna vanda adu alaga surukkama sollirukanga know your customer know your business make a judgment sollirukanga
இருக்காங்க அப்படி நீங்க வந்து ஒரு தைரியமாக நீங்க வந்து முன்னேறணும்னு நினைச்சீங்க இது மாதிரி ஒரு சிரமமான சூழ்நிலையில செயல்படணும்னு நினைச்சீங்கன்னா ட்ராய் அ பைலட் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு வார்த்தை யூஸ் பண்ணாங்க சிறியதாக ஒரு முயற்சியை செய்து அது வேலை செய்கிறதா இல்லையான்னு பாருங்கன்னு சொல்லியிருக்காங்க அண்ணா இட் ஹஸ் பீன் ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் ஹேவிங் யூ ஹியர் மிக்க மகிழ்ச்சி ஏறத்தால ஐ திங்க் வி ஹேவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபோர்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் பங்கேற்பாளர்கள் இன்றைக்கு வந்து இந்த இதுல கலந்துருக்கின்றாங்க இந்த நிகழ்வுல மிக்க நன்றி அண்ணா தேங்க் யூ வெரி மச் ரெண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி ரெண்டுல கோலலம்பூர்ல நடக்கிற நிகழ்வுக்கு தாங்கள் நிச்சயமாக வரணும் அவசியம் வரணும்னு வேண்டிக் கொண்டு மீண்டும் தலைவர் அவங்க டத்தோ ராமநாதன் அவரிடத்துல நான் இந்த செஷனை ஒப்பிட வச்சிருக்கேன் தேங்க் யூ நன்றி அண்ணா தேங்க் யூ அண்ட் பீன் கிரேட் ஆனர் சார் அண்ட் கிரேட் ஆனர் ஐபிசி அண்ட் மலேசியா தேங்க் யூ வெரி மச் தேங்க் யூ Rama thank you Rama back thank to you, you. yeah so uh, a very good response from the participants uh, we did not expect this number of uh, encouraging support In the first attempt did we have regular webinars i would like you all to participate so and we going to as i mentioned earlier we will be having all the follow ups all this uh, advertisements in our social media fb website instagram hmm? right so please follow up there and please support us and mulu uh, pane your talk was really class really wonderful in fact one of the main points which i took back i'm taking back is employee employee relationship how we could even go closer to employees so at this moment of uh, covid issue if you're going to share yeah, if you're going to share with employees i'm sure they will accept even for pickers so uh, we can actually develop a good relationship there's a good point which i'm going to take back i'm sure many of the part many of the things you said most of us have really um, followed you uh, your speech very good thank you nan thanks for joining us and uh, tamsri we know ninga vandu english ella pesuvinga very fluent ah pesuvinga ana tamil endha alavukku idu suthama pesi evlo it was really nice na thank you for it thank you um and uh, i should also thank dr subra and his uh, webinar team uh, for organizing this session uh, thank you dr and also my co organizing team which was behind the entire session to make this webinar a success finally i am also thankful to the, the presidents of various anartha sangams throughout the world right from us to india everyone have given me the support because to them only go able to market this to all their members so thank you so with this i say thank you very much for all of you all to, for joining us and uh, making this webinar a success thank you very much Thank you. Nandri, thank you. I'm sure, I'm sure this is a very um, uh, interesting evening for everyone. I mean, depends on wherever you're staying. Uh, we are, we are uh, looking to, to stage uh, of many kinds within the our launch date uh, which is uh, the IBCN 2022 uh, um, uh, mr murugopan and uh, tansri balan today uh, for this wonderful evening that they could spend time and actually take enough questions um, and i'm sure that most of the questions has been answered we will definitely um, post these uh, questions and we will see if we could get back uh, if any questions were left out uh, after the event Uh, so with this uh, we finish our uh, first uh, webinar session for IDCN uh, 2022 so thank you very much thank you uh, panelist and i thank dr dato uh, rama as well thank you very much thank with this you. we end Thanks the session goodbye thank you. Thank, you. thank you very much thank you thank you may i leave now okay yes absolutely thank you thank you very much thank you
Yeah. How many people are not there? 100 are still there. 